Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're looking at some examples of calculating confidence intervals for sample means with unknown standard deviations for the population or unknown sigmas. So let's say that you randomly select 16 coffee shops and measure the temperature of the coffee sold at each. The sample mean temperature is 162 degrees Fahrenheit with a sample standard deviation of 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Construct a 99% confidence interval for the population mean temperature of coffee sold. Assume that the temperatures are approximately normally distributed. So because here we are given a sample standard deviation of 10 rather than a population standard deviation, we have an unknown sigma. So we would be working with a T interval. So we can use our calculator to do this if we go again underneath the stat menu and we toggle over to tests. Right below the Z interval, you'll see a T interval. When we open that up and we toggle over to the stats option, it's going to ask us for four inputs. It's going to ask us for X bar or our sample mean in this particular problem, that would be 162 going to ask us for our sa sample standard deviation. In this case, that would be 10. It's going to ask us for the number in our sample. Here we surveyed 16 coffee shops. And then it's also going to ask for our confidence level and we need to place that in as a decimal. So in this case, that would be 0.99. Typing all of that in and hitting calculate, we get an interval of 154 0.63 to 169.37 degrees. So if we put that together into a statement and interpret, making sure to state the level of confidence, our interval, and use the context of the problem, then we get that we are 99% confident that the true mean temperature of coffee sold is between 154.63 degrees Fahrenheit and 169.37 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can answer these questions using the T interval underneath the stat menu. All right, trying a similar question. You want to rent an unfurnished one bedroom apartment in Houston next year. The monthly rent for a simple random sample of 32 apartments advertised in the local newspaper had a mean of $1,400 and a standard deviation of $220. Find a 90% confidence interval for the true mean rent and interpret. So again, here we are given the standard deviation of the sample. So we know that we would use a T interval. So here, let's try to do this one by hand. So let's find first our T critical value. So for that, we're gonna need to use our inverse T function. So thinking about, we are using a 90% confidence interval, so we want 90% of our area to be in the center. That means that one minus 0.9 divided by two is in each one of our wings. So since inverse T accepts the area to the left, if I type in, let's see, that will be 0 0.05, since one minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1, dividing that in half gets me 0 0.05, and then we need to give the degrees of freedom. Remember that degrees of freedom is always N minus one, in this case, that will be 32 minus one. So we have 31 degrees of freedom. That gives us a T critical value of 1.696. 
Now, technically your calculator is going to give you the minus version of that, but we are always going to use the positive version for our T critical. So now our confidence interval can be calculated by taking our point estimate of X bar and adding and subtracting to that our T critical value times our standard deviation divided by the square root of N. So in this case, that will be 1,400 plus or minus 1.696 times our standard deviation of 220 divided by the square root of 32. Now whether you calculate that by hand or you use the T interval, either way you should get an interval of $1,334.10 up to $1,465.90. So now we'll go ahead and report that using our confidence level, our interval, and the context. So we are, in this case, what was our confidence level? 90% confident that the true mean apartment price is between $1,334.10 and $1,465.90. And All right, guys, that does it for this video on confidence intervals for means with an unknown sigma. Catch you in the next one.